we are the first African generation to do business. It's just simply doable. Even though it's in deep dark Africa, it's doable. We must do it better than anybody else because we are the best. C'est une réalité. Okay, this is now diamonds that we're going to put in the polishing process. These, we call it industrial diamonds, and we crush it. Uh, and the powder we use to polish the diamonds. Only diamond can polish diamond. Shachter Namder offices is in Tel Aviv, Israel. We've got diamond polishing factories all over the world. They bought this company here in Botswana in 1998. This factory wasn't productive at all that time. We started training people. Now we've got 271 people working here. We do approximately 300 stones, polished stones a day, almost 2,000 carats a month. We put the stone in here and it scans it and it tells us exactly what we can expect from that stone. At the moment we are three diamond factories here in Botswana. There's like another big company opening here in Botswana and I'm a bit scared that some of my workers will eventually go over to the new company opening up here. For such a small country like Botswana, for big diamond companies, is, I think it's remarkable. This is now where they check the stones finally the stone must be 100%. Then we pack it into boxes like this, which we send back to our head offices. They get paid per stone. We try to give them an incentive always to get to that target that we want. Oh, when I've started, it took me five years to become a qualified diamond polisher. Nowadays, you can do it in three months' time. The men in Botswana, most of them work on the mines in South Africa. So there's a lot of women staying behind without work. So we employ them. We give them 15 holiday each year. Maternity leave, we give them three months. We've got a clinic here with two qualified nurses. We do family planning. We care them when they are pregnant and they only go to the hospital when they go for delivery. 10 o'clock tea time. We provide them with tea and we supply bread because we feel if the stomach is full, their work is much better. In some countries, they've got a large team of security people watching TVs constantly, checking the people what they're doing. But here in Botswana, we haven't got that problem. We don't need it. We've got one guy here. He's sort of controlling the whole security system. They sign for their diamonds, so they're responsible for their diamonds. When we stop every day, each department check that all these stones is back. Botswana is the highest producer of diamonds in the world. There's an agreement between the BF and Botswana. From the mine, all the diamonds goes to the sorting centrum in Botswana. And from there, they send it to the BS in London, where they divide it up in sites. It's only site holders that can go and buy diamonds from the BS group in London. With every site, we get a Kimberley certificate. And that is to prove the diamonds that we work with is not conflict diamonds. The Botswana government comes and they open the site and they take out the KP certificate. And only then we are allowed to polish the stones. If Botswana breaks away from the beers, he can sell his own diamonds to who he wants to. It's a lot more complicated because the beers at the moment is controlling the market. The diamond market is like a yo-yo, up and down. We do not get always enough work. So there comes time that I've got to send them home, but we've still got to pay them. The people that's trained, we've got to keep. Also, we cannot just give a person notice. We've got to go through the right channels, fill in the right forms. We've got to warn them like three times before you can give them notice. In the two and a half years I've been here, no worker ever has got three warnings that we had to ask him to leave. I love Botswana. 
It's got everything here. I like to work with the people. Telephone electricity, I haven't had a problem. The roads is beautiful. There's no shortage of water. Can corruption? No, never. No government officer or what whatsoever ever ask me for any favors or anything like that. Botswana is just outstanding, really. 